Hi beautiful people, welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and today's video is a two-parter, a declutter of my beauty products and some tips to help you downsize your own collection and take you one step forward to a clutter-free life, followed by a quick makeover on myself, which in the real world I can do in about three minutes, largely because I no longer have a ton of stuff to have to sift through. So declutter first, if you can, Get a piece of paper and without looking at the stuff you use, write down everything that you use every day or regularly. And if you're hardcore enough, get rid of everything that isn't on that list. Now look, I appreciate that might be a little that little bit of a long shot for some of you. So instead, start categorising all your stuff down. So put all your nail varnishes together, all your lipsticks together, all your moisturisers and hand creams together, etc, etc. And um, start getting rid of any duplicates, because often we end up with several of the same shade of lipstick, for example. Anything that's obviously broken, crumbled, the smell has gone, or you know for a fact that you've had a really long time. And anything you know that you're never going to use again, like the false eyelashes with the feathers on the end for the festival you didn't even go, go to. Um, then get rid of anything that's over 12 months old if it's a liquid product, two years old if it's a powder product, or three to six months at the outside if it's a mascara. And you will hopefully go from something, in my case, that was a vintage cabinet full of stuff, which I then reduced down to two trays of stuff and several makeup bags, to something that resembles this. Ha! Ah, this is all of my stuff with the exception of shampoo, conditioner, body lotion and hair stuff. And now I'm going to show you a little quick makeover that I did earlier using these products on this face. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back without makeup and I have already applied some Garnier Moisture Balm. It's a really lovely light moisturiser and just dries really quickly. My um, foundation is by Boots Number no. 7 Protect and Perfect. It's really very very good but it's a bit heavy for me so I tend to mix it with a little bit of NARS Radiance Primer but you can use anything or even mix it with a bit of moisturiser and you can see there's hardly anything on the brush. You only need a tiny amount and a tiny bit goes a very very long way. Um, I always use a brush, I think it gives a nicer finish and I always try to match my foundation to my own skin colour so that I don't have that impossible job of trying to blend and blend and blend indefinitely. But as you can see that has took me, taken me all of 10 seconds to do. Um, okay, so next I use concealer and this is a miracle one by Primark, believe it or not. My perfect colour, it was something crazy like 90p and it is one of the best concealers I've ever used. Uh, I have a lot of blue in my natural skin tone because I'm so fair so I, it does require a fair amount of concealing and um, this does a brilliant job. I find that when I leave a concealer, not just in this concealer but any concealer, just to settle for about 10 seconds or so before I blend it, it tends to give a lot better coverage and I think that is just simply because the product has started to dry off um, but that would be a little bit of a tip and when it comes to setting my concealer, this Little Pot of Magic by e.l.f. is a wonder product. It's a very, very light under eye mattifying powder, but that said, you can use it on any area where you apply um, concealer and it instantly blurs the lines and sets the powder and just generally lightens and brightens the whole area. So I don't know if you can see there, but the effect is absolutely fantastic and it's one of my go-to products. Now at this point you might want to use a translucent powder. I it also, I go for um, a bronzing powder instead because um, as I sound very fair so I just need a little bit of extra colour to my skin um, and pow bronzing powders help me with that rather than trying to buy a much darker foundation and it looking very artificial. 
I did try contouring once. What is all that about? Blind me. By the time I finished it, my face looked like my features didn't know the meaning of the word teamwork. Um, but if you manage to nail it, brilliant. And then for blusher, I love this multifunctional product. Again, by number seven. These are, uh, what, what is this called? Sorry, uh, Shimmer Palette in Rose. And it's got all these pretty little colours. You can use them all over your face with a big brush. Or you can obviously use a blusher brush and uh, use it just on the apples of your cheeks. Take it across your whole eyelid or you could even take a small eyeshadow brush and use it in the crease of your eye as an eyeshadow but that's another really lovely product. When it comes to my eyebrows they are very very fair and um, thin thanks to years of over plucking back in the 90s when everybody thought that was a good idea. Don't do that ladies they never grow back <laughs> um, and I just give them a little bit of definition by using Maybelline Brow Precise Fibre Filler. Um, I don't tend to spend too long on my eyebrows. To be honest, the longer I spend, the more likely I am to get this wrong. So I just sweep the brow precise through and then use the pencil to add some more definition. Now it's a little bit of a back to front way of doing this, but in my case, because my, eyelash, my eyebrows are so thin, I find that when I use the Brow Precise first and then add the pencil, the, the Brow Precise almost acts as a template for the pencil, so it's actually a lot easier for me to do my eyebrows full stop. But yeah, really quick, really easy. And then in terms of my eyelashes, they are very, very short and stubby. Um, and that hasn't been helped in recent years by crazy menopausal hormones, which has also made my hair very, very thin. So if you are at that stage, ladies, I am with you in spirit because it's absolutely awful if your symptoms are particularly bad. Um, so my eyelashes need all the help that they can get. So I always use an eyelash primer. This is a cheapie from eBay. I think it was £2.50, including postage, and it's by Technique. Um, but hopefully in a minute you can see that they're very short and you'll be able to see how this product just grabs them and lengthens them instantly. Um, I personally don't want my eyelashes to look like they're false and when I have used volumising eyelashes, eye mascara rather in the past, it just makes me look like I've got two big slugs sat on the top of my eyelids. So for me, it's all about the length. Oh, hee hee. Right, but can you see that? Look at that. <laughs> so you should be able to see how that has just elongated my eyelashes straight away. I don't tend to put them on the bottom lash line because, again, it just looks far too artificial when I come to actually put my mascara on. But yeah, if you've got really short eyelashes, uh, I can't recommend primer enough, it's brilliant. And I'm going to try, believe it or not, a number seven new um, mascara that came in a little gift set. And this is Lash Extender. <laughs> Sorry, that's such a crap impression of Alan Partridge, but I do love him. Um, and I know it might seem a bit weird, but I've just wiped some of the product off there. And the reason for that is if the brush is a little bit drier, it almost grabs your eyelashes and pulls the product through from the root to the tip better so you actually end up with um, a better effect and taking the excess product off the brush helps to reduce the product clumping but look at that that's one coat of number seven lash extender check me very very good um and again, you, I guess if you wanted to, you could spend a bit of time doing this. But I'm just going to go for a quick coat and see how we go. Yes, that's very, very good. For a first attempt. Look at that. <laughs> 
oh one thing I meant to say about the um, rose shimmer palette as well that I used on my cheeks is can you see it's got a natural highlighter in there so it gives a really pretty glow just saying um, all right and then I'm not particularly a lipstick kind of girl I'm more of a lip balm and a lip gloss kind of girl so two of my favorites are this good old Nivea gloss wonder balm which is in a really pretty peachy color um, but today I'm going to be using a color called nude caramel I'd like to tell you which one this is but uh, the label's worn off but I'm pretty sure it's by revolution which is a brand that Superdrug do But yeah, this is a lovely natural colour and it stays on a really long time actually without drying my lipstick, my lips out. And that is pretty much all that I do. If I get a move on, I can get my makeup done literally in three minutes. Um, don't go just yet because I've got another couple of things to tell you at the end, but I hope that that has helped. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, check out the description of the video because I've put some more information in there that might be useful. And a quick tip before I go, if you like to switch handbags and you're always fighting to find the stuff in the bottom of your bag, then just put all of the things you use regularly into one of these clear makeup bags and then you can switch really easily into different handbags and no more fighting to find stuff as you go. Alternatively, just get rid of the bags and keep one. Easy. Um, okay, so for the next video, it'll either be a declutter of a massive declutter of my clothes because since we moved, I've got to get all of my stuff into this tiny wardrobe, or it might be exploring some of the things that bring us down because there are lots of stuff that happen to us over our lifetimes that affect our um, mental well-being and our physical well-being um, and sometimes in terms of how we look that's often intrinsically linked as well to feelings of low self-esteem or so or low self-worth so I'm 47 this year and I'm only just getting to a level where I'm at peace with myself and the world so um, I think that a lot of us tend to fall into that into that category too so which either way until then um thank you so much for watching remember we are all overwhelmed together you're not alone and we all deserve to lead a clutter free life and until next time massive love to you and now i'm going to go and get a cup of tea <laughs>